In this lesson, we will introduce you to PHP MyAdmin. When you build your WordPress site, write posts, or create pages, you constantly interact with the database. What does that mean, and how can you access this data? Let's dive in. Here are the lesson outcomes. Understand the difference between your site's files and database. Explore your site's database using the PHP MyAdmin UI. And get a basic understanding of the structure and tables. So what is a database? Almost all the content that you and your visitors create on a WordPress site is stored in a database. Posts, pages, comments, taxonomies, theme customizations, user details, etc. None of these is a standalone file. Rather, they are written to and read from a database that WordPress created during the installation. Explaining how databases work is beyond the scope of this lesson, but it might be helpful to think of them as sophisticated spreadsheets. Each table consists of columns and rows. Columns represent data keys, while rows represent the individual values. For example, the table named WP Posts hold all your posts. Every detail of every post is listed as a row in this table, divided into columns that represent the relevant information. The post title is listed under the post title column, and the content is under post content, and so forth. Since the data in the database is stored and managed along with all other files on your hosting provider server, you can access it, browse around, and even modify the data. Something important to note, the database is perhaps the most critical part of your site and you should only modify it if you have sufficient knowledge. Think of this lesson as a look, but don't touch introduction. To view your database, you need database management software. Most hosting companies offer a browser-based tool called PHP MyAdmin, which we'll be using throughout this lesson. If you don't have access to your host's dashboard or prefer to explore the database via the WordPress admin dashboard, you can use a plugin such as SQL Buddy, Advanced Database Cleaner, or WP PHP My Admin. Also, don't forget to deactivate and delete the plugin when you're done to avoid potential problems. To access PHP My Admin, all depends on how your hosting provider has set up their dashboard. But usually, you will open up the cPanel, select databases, and then PHP My Admin. If your hosting company uses a different management platform, Check the documentation resources to find how to access PHP MyAdmin. My hosting company, for example, provides quick access to the WordPress dashboard and PHP MyAdmin. So I will go ahead and click on PHP MyAdmin. Then click on the database's name on the top left menu. And what you will see are all the tables that comprise your WordPress site. If you have more than one database and the name doesn't give a hint to which site it belongs, you can head back to the WordPress admin dashboard, navigate to tools, click on site health, select the info tab, and then click on database. Locate the line database name, and then return to PHP My Admin. Let's inspect two of the most important tables found in every WordPress database. The WP options table stores information about your site's settings. Each row in the table represents a specific setting, including information about your active theme and active plugins. On the other hand, the WP Posts table stores your posts, pages, custom post types, and attachments. Each row in the table represents a single piece of content. Let's first discuss WP Options and look at the two middle columns. The option name column stores the keys, for example, site URL, blog name, blog description, admin email, etc. While the option value column stores the respective values. These correspond to the details you set in your general settings screen. For example, site URL is the web address that appears as WordPress address URL, blog description is the site tagline, etc. Next, we move on to WP Posts. This table contains many more columns, 
yet each corresponds to a familiar UI element in the post editor. Here are a few examples. The post title column is where you'll see the titles of all your posts or attachments. The post status indicates if it's a draft or published. And if we scroll to the right, the post type column indicates if this is a post, page or other type of content. And then lastly, GWID, which stands for Globally Unique Identifier, stores the post URL. In conclusion, as mentioned in the beginning, the database is a critical part of your site and you should only modify it if you have sufficient knowledge. If you want to optimize, clean or modify it, whether you use PHP My Admin or a plugin, make sure you know what you're doing and have a backup and recovery solution in place before you start. To learn more about all of this, visit the beginner WordPress developer learning pathway, specifically the lesson titled The WordPress Database.